Hello everyone, today I want to talk to you about Nexa, who claims to be the most scalable blockchain in the world, built to handle tons of transactions, actually around 10 billion per day. It offers smart contracts and native token services, and the best part is, it is proof of work, so we can mine it using our GPUs. It is so early in the roadmap that it could be a great opportunity to buy it or just to start mining it, and it's profitable as of today. Let's dive into this project and let's see if you like it. I'll show you how to mine it or how to get some to hold it as investment. Let's get into it. I was actually using miner stat to do some calculations on what's the best uh, coin to mine right now, proof of work. And I found that the, the most trend uh, coin right now is NEX next. Um, and I didn't know anything about it. And, uh, and I saw that uh, it's still, uh, it is profitable. Uh, I went ahead and checked the uh, what to mine. I, I've seen uh, NEX here popping up number one in pretty much all the GPUs that are profitable in the last 24 hours. So I was really curious about it. And then I um, went ahead and started checking their website which is nexa.org, nexa.org. Um, and I learned that, you know, Nexa is a digital economy with capacity for all. That's how they call it. It's the most scalable blockchain to ever built. So I was curious how they did that. I can process 10 billion transactions per day and offer EVM-like smart contracts. So EVM is like Ethereum virtual machine-like contracts um, and native token services. So, so it looks like a really you know cool concept here i went through all the details um you also noticed that um the network is utxo plus proof of work so utxo is like uh, cryptocurrency transaction output um, and it can be used uh, in fractions um, and that's kind of what uh, bitcoin uses uh, and opposed of ethereum which is uh, kind of like an account based model right so uh, it has a 21 trillion NEX, uh, that's the maximum supply, and right now the market cap is around 20, 22 million. Um, so fairly new launch, and it's a fair launch, which is nice to see. I was launched in June last year, so not even a year. Um, and the team here behind apparently built this Bitcoin Unlimited, uh, which has been a servicing Bitcoin network. Um, here you have the team, uh, and I found their, um, it's called Bitcoin Unlimited here on Twitter. I found it on Twitter and then their website. So you can read more about what they've been doing and how they got together and the solutions they provide to the Bitcoin uh, ecosystem. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is to get a wallet, like always, we're gonna go here, wallets. Um, and here you have the desktop wallets. They are working on the mobile uh, uh, for Android and for iOS. Uh, I have Windows, so I went ahead and download it. Go ahead and download, and you should see the file here. Go ahead and open it, and install the the actual wallet. All right, and once you open the wallet, go ahead and you can hide the synchronization that can happen in the background, so don't worry about it. Um, first step is to uh, encrypt your wallet. So go ahead and click encrypt your wallet. I already done that, so I can change my uh, passphrase, but go ahead and encrypt the wallet. You're gonna have to enter a uh, long combination of words um, that you know, please do not forget, uh, or I think it's uh, 10 or 12 uh, characters minimum uh, passphrase. Um, and then once you do that, it's gonna encrypt your wallet, and then go ahead and back up the wallet as well. Here, back up wallet, go ahead and back it, back it up so it's protected. And then the next step is to get some. Uh, nicks uh, on your on this wallet so for that we're gonna go to the faucet all right and under wallets if you keep scroll, scrolling down you'll see you need to grab a few nicks uh, coins to test utilize our faucet so click here faucet and then here we're gonna we're gonna paste our receiving address so we're gonna open again the wallet and then we're gonna say file receiving address and you're gonna say uh, new and say initial or whatever you want to label that uh, I already done that so I, I use this one there's no no label just uh, highlight copy 
and then go back to the page here and paste it there. Now paste it there, verify that you are not a robot, and then submit, and you're gonna get, um, I got 100 uh, NEX, uh, uh, NEX, so that's, that's just to start. Let's go back here and you can see transactions, I got it today, and my 100 NEX NEX uh, there. And now before I show you how to mine it, let's go to CoinMarketCap and see how we can buy. And I always like to buy some, you know, before if it's a new uh, coin, you know, maybe early in the game. So maybe it may be good to buy some. So if you're interested in buying uh, Nixa, just go to CoinMarketCap and let's take a look at this is the actual price. Um, so not much data, right? Uh, since CoinMarketCap is starting uh, uh, tracking it. Uh, still in a very narrow here range um, so if you go down here these are the Nixa markets uh, I'm, I'm gonna sort it by volume uh, TX bit is the the one that trades uh, with the highest volume 106,000 uh, on the day so let's go ahead and click there uh, I'm here and that's a uh, Nixa USDT uh, trading uh, chart here. So what we need to do is we need to sign in. Uh, if you don't have a TX bit, just sign up. Uh, you're gonna need uh, two-factor authentication and then uh, log into this this account. All right. Once you are in text, TX bit, uh, go ahead and click wallets. And then we what we need is there. So we need, we need USDT. Um, I don't have anything. I have 30 cents there. So I need to deposit some uh, USDT. Go ahead and click deposit. And then send only Tether USDT to this address uh, using the uh, BEP20 BSC Binance Smart, uh, Smart Change Network. That's the only one that you can use, otherwise you're gonna lose the money. So I understand that deposit is a different network will be lost. Yes, check. Make sure you use BSC uh, BEP20. Close, and that's the the address that you're gonna use, copy that address, and then uh, from either your wallet or from an exchange, send uh, USD using BSC to that address. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, and my USDT is now in. I have 127.76 uh, USDT. So now I'm gonna go ahead and trade this. Hit trade, and then we're gonna hit this drop down. Look for the USDT pairs here, and then. Here it is, Nixa. Hit there, and there it is. All right, so a couple of ways that um, TX bid works. First, is uh, it's based on limit orders, so I can only enter a order to buy and uh, at a certain price, right? It's not market order. So, and then I can see here this is the price that's being offered and the amount of Nixa being offered and the amount in USD, and this is the cumulative amount. So. If I have 127, let's bring up the calculator. I have 127.76. Um, divided by, let's say, what's the the uh, the ask here? Is 0 0.0? Let me see this. Yes, 0 0.00 0 0 0 1 1 2 0. At 1 1 2 0. I can get around 11, 000, uh, 11 million, 400,000, 407,000 uh, NEX. So, <clears throat> so there are a couple of ways to do that. Um, I can uh, set up my uh, order right above the, the highest uh, ask price here, right? Uh, I'm sorry, that's the bid. I'm sorry, that's the highest bid price. So. I can do, uh, let's do that, buy, uh, let's set up the price, 0 0.00, 0, 0, 0, 0, 10, and you can see here it's 10.88, so I can do 10, let's say 10.80, 10.89, so it's the highest, I'm, I'm offering uh, to buy Nixa at a higher price, so I'm gonna be placed right above there, right? <clears throat> so if I do that, 
and I do 100%, it automatically converts how, how many uh, nicks I can get. So 11,000, uh, 11 million, I'm sorry, 700,009. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a buy. And I should be placed at the, at the top. See now, that's my order. Your order to buy has been placed. Your order to buy has been queued for processing. So right now we're at the top, top one. So that's one way of doing it, and you're just gonna have to wait for for someone to uh, to sell you Nixa or or partially or the full amount, depending on how much uh, they're selling. Uh, but that's you're offering to buy it at that price. All right, and there's not much being traded right now. The order is being sitting there. Uh, I can see that the price that I'm offering right now, 1089. Uh, it's third place from the top now. There are people offering uh, a higher price. So what you can do is you can cancel this. Cancel. Uh, we get back the funds here, 127.76. It's available. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer and see if I can get all this. Uh, I'm gonna get the highest price, but it's gonna match the the ask price. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer uh, pretty much up to here. Let's just click there. That's zero 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 one one three six. I'm gonna say a hundred percent. That's how many I'm gonna get. Eleven million two hundred twenty-four thousand. Uh, so I'm gonna say buy. All right, and it's been filled instantly. So I just moved the chart. Uh, I got all the the nicks uh, fill uh, fill in. So the order. We're good. So if we go to the wallet now, you can see we have the 11 million, uh, 224,840 nixa. So now we can withdraw this into our wallet. All right here we are at the wallet. Here I can see nixa, my 11 million nixa. Uh, we're gonna hit withdrawal here. Um, the amount we're gonna say all. The address we need to go back to our wallet and copy the address there. So you're gonna do file. Receiving address. I have a mining that I already created, so I'm gonna send it there. Highlight there, copy. Go back there. Just paste it. Right click, paste it, and uh, it says here that there's a 500 Nixa transaction fee, uh, and then you're gonna have to uh, type your password and the two-factor authentication and withdraw the Nixa. Let's do that. Okay, and after you put your password and two-factor authentication, um, it says that you need you, you accept the transaction and then it sends you an email. So you go to your email and you confirm the transaction. And once you uh, confirm uh, that link on the email, the transaction is confirmed and the, the, withdraw, the withdrawal uh, just happened. So now we gotta go back to the wallet and wait for that transactions to actually uh, hit the account. Oh, and it's just received it. So it's, it is unconfirmed there. So I guess all the trans, all the confirmations are being uh, processed right now, but I can see instantly that the amount, instantly, the amount is, is being processed right now. Okay, and while the confirmations are being processed, uh, let's go ahead and start mining uh, Nixa. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to nixa.org uh, and hit mining. And here it says how to mine Nixa. It says uh, currently it's GPU enabled, AMD and NVIDIA. Great. Um, explains about the mining rewards, uh, which are similar to Bitcoin, which has mining rewards halving every four years. The current block reward is 10 million Nixa per block. Uh, each block occurs every two minutes for a total of 720 blo blocks per day. We have a couple of options in terms of mining software. Uh, I, today I'm gonna use LOL Miner, so go ahead and click there. Uh, and then here you have the Linux and the Win, uh, Windows 64-bit option. Go ahead, click, uh, download and unzip it and extract it in a folder. All right, and in terms of mining pool, choosing a mining pool versus solo, I'm gonna choose a mining pool because I would like to see the rewards uh, daily, right? So you have different uh, mining pools. You can always use uh, mining pool stats and search for Nixa here. Uh, and it's gonna bring uh, the current mining pools for Nixa. 
uh, you can see Wooly Pooly is number one with the 7.86 tera hash. And then you have different options depending where you are. Uh, there's another here in the US, Nixa Pool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Wooly Pooly. Just click there and I can see here is uh, uh, Nixa. All right, and before uh, configuring our batch file, we, we should go to hashrate.no, here hashrate.no, um, and find uh, the GPU you're gonna be using. I'm gonna be using a 3060 uh, RTX 3060 Ti, because that's what I have on this computer. Click on GPU, find your GPU here. <clears throat> Let's see if I find mine here. Miss it, uh, 3060Ti, perfect mixer, there it is. All right, so apparently it's the highest uh, profitable uh, uh, point right now. And it says here, um, click click there, and then you have three kind of settings. You have the efficiency overclock, the medium overclock, and the high overclock. Uh, the efficiency, you know, the more uh, hash rate with the less amount of power, medium is kind of in between, and high overclock is the most amount of hash uh, hash rate. So what you wanna do is um, you have different overclock settings and here's uh, the minor options for LOL minor, uh, which are pretty much core, uh, core clock offset 255 mega hash, uh, megahertz, uh, core clock locked 1410 megahertz, and then memory uh, clock offset no, no set and then memory clock lock 5000 uh, megahertz so it's right there so you're gonna copy that let's copy all that control c let's go back to notepad and here we gotta i'm gonna i'm gonna just have it there somewhere between oops let's just insert it there to have it there all right just to remind me that i gotta i gotta set up set this up so in terms of pool let's go back to wooly pulley and copy exactly pulley here all right connection all right that's you're gonna choose the country where you're from and you're gonna i'm gonna copy that so i'm in the usa here copy that go back to the notepad replace from there to there I already have it, so you're gonna replace there. Perfect. That's that's the pool. Now your wallet, you're gonna go back to your wallet. Uh, you're gonna do file receiving. If you don't have a label, go ahead and set up a label or or a new address by hitting new. Type the label, and you're gonna get a new address. I'm gonna use my mining copy. Close. Go back to my notepad here and replace from the equal here the entire there all right and then extra parameters uh, all right dash dash api port 44 so i'm gonna copy that there so that's the extra parameters 4444 and then we got us replace the lock core all right, which is here, uh, 1410, so this is 1410. Then the lock memory, which is 5000 here, 5000. And then the core offset, which is 150, so core offset now is, here's 255. All right. Okay, and once you save the file, uh, we're gonna go ahead and double click on the file and execute. Yes, that's the bad file uh, executing. And now we're gonna start mining. In a few seconds here. Uh, core clock offset was applied, 255. The lock core clock, uh, 1410 applied, and the locked memory clock, 5000 applied. So all the all the um, OC settings are have been applied, and now if we check on the uh, hash rate that you know, uh, we we can check here. This is what we wanted, right? No memory clock offset here, no set. 
uh, the only thing is uh, we need to make sure we are limited this to 150 watt to make it efficient so we should get around uh, 41.58 megahertz it's gonna depend on your own system this is unique to your own system your own computer and you know, a combination of factors but this is what we're gonna try to achieve uh, mining uh, uh, with these settings now for that let's go back to the to the miner okay it's pulling some initial speed here 37.52 and power 88 so let, let it run a little bit and see how we do on top of of the uh, of doing the mining my gpu is also recording this video so it's going to be lower so you should expect more this is a 36 uh, 3060 ti rtx 3060 ti so depends on your own uh, gpu so let it run here uh, we'll see in the meantime what you can do is you can open msi afterburner msi afterburner um, is the 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 software that we use to uh, do the overclocking but we, we did uh, on the actual notepad on the settings so but you can actually modify the settings here um, we're gonna tweak the power limit in this case right now we are at 100% so GPU is using everything it can all right and it's been about five minutes and I'm already uh, seeing the speed increased here uh, 40 Point sixty-eight, the latest one what I'm recording so I'm pretty close of, of what the target was for this uh, particular settings uh, you can see here the the clock settings here and then the, the power that I'm using I'm using 97 watts um, and this is the core temperature which is 63 which is good uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna decrease a little bit the power limit uh, say uh, 85% and then I'll see how that affects um, the hash rate our target is to get to a 41.58 with less power watt wattage so 82 that that will give us an efficiency of 0 0.51 mega hash per watt um, and that's what we're trying to achieve but we're pretty close so it's just a matter of playing with the power limit now and see uh, where we're getting 39, we're getting 39 with uh, 104. So we, we still need to apply this and let it run. Let's see, 75, what it does. Um, but that's the way you're gonna achieve uh, the efficiency. Play with the uh, power limit and see if you can match the mega hash. All right, and last thing I want to show you is go back to nixa.org, hit mining, and then uh, here you'll find the the mining profitability calculator. calculator. So you always got, got to check on how you're doing. Let's click on uh, miner stat. Uh, we're pulling about uh, 41. Yeah, that's correct. 89 is pre-populated by my previous check 89 power consumption watts this is always a pool fee that you gotta take into account point, point 0.9 currency that you use and electricity cost depending on the area calculate so you can see if this is a positive number we're making some money uh, we're making 2.53 dollars per month so no much but it's profitable so uh, as the coin starts increasing uh, this this number obviously is going to increase, but it also is going to depend on the on the network hash rate and, and a couple of factors there. But that's the way you check. And there you are. You know how to buy, trade, or mine uh, Nixa now. Um, I'll keep you posted if you I hear any news about Nixa or any anything accomplished from the point of view of the roadmap. Uh, if you run into any problems or any any questions you may have, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.